Hi everyone, welcome back to another video in the Web Security Academy series. In today's video, we'll be covering lab number three in the directory traversal module titled File Path Traversal, Traversal Sequences Trip Non-Recursively. All right, let's get started. This lab contains a file path traversal vulnerability in the display of product images. The application strips path traversal sequences from the user supplied file name before using it. To solve the lab, retrieve the content of the etc passwd file. Okay, so our target goal over here is to exploit the path traversal vulnerability, which again has some kind of defense on it, and then retrieve the content of the passwd file. All right, let's get started. Now notice over here, this is the built-in browser in Burp, and so all my requests are already being intercepted in my Burp proxy. So the first thing you should notice over here is just like with the other uh, labs that we solved for the path traversal module, it has a request uh, that retrieves images from the server that the application is uh, hosted on. And so anytime you see like file name or where it could potentially be retrieving files from the server, you should definitely test it for path traversal and other vulnerabilities like LFI and RFI. So we're gonna send this to repeater. and try and test it in repeater. So if we hit send on the original request, you could see that it's a 200 OK message and it retrieves the content of the JPEG image. Now let's see if this is vulnerable to path traversal. So the first thing that I'm gonna do is see if it accepts an absolute path. So etc pass wd hit send and it says no such file. So the next thing that I'm gonna do is see if maybe it only accepts, it only looks for that folder in the specific directory that I'm in. And so what we're gonna do is use the path traversal sequence to get out of that directory. So we're gonna say go one directory up and then another directory up and then another directory up and then another directory up and then look for the passwd file. Hit send. And that didn't work either. So now let's try another technique. And usually you just use a scanner that fuzzes your application with a bunch of payloads for path traversal and Burp can do that. Um, however, we're trying to do this manually first so that we understand how it works. So, so far we've tested this and it didn't work. We also tested this and it didn't work. So the next technique that I'm gonna try is I'm going to see if the application is filtering the string from any path traversal sequence. So path traversal sequence is this right over here. So this tells it move up a directory. And so uh, the developers might know that some people might exploit it to read files on the system. And, and so what the developers are gonna do is they're gonna say, if you find this specific string over here in any user supplied input, then remove it. So when we give the application this string, what it's going to do is it's gonna remove this, and then it's gonna remove this, and then it's gonna remove this and then it's going to remove this and so what we end up with is this right over here which we already know doesn't work and so a way to bypass that is if they're not doing this uh, check recursively is we can add another dot dot and then a slash and then add another dot dot and a slash for each one of them and i'll explain why in a bit and so if they're looking for this specific sequence, so if I'm a program and I'm looking for this specific sequence, you could see it's available over here, it's available over here, it's available over here, and it's available over here. And so it'll get removed in each instance. So the third one as well, and then the fourth one. And so if it's not done recursively again to check if there's any leftover strings, we do end up with our exploit, which is the original one that we did with just a very simple way to bypass um, that specific inadequate defense. So if we go back, this was our exploit. So we're going to copy it, put it in here, and hit send and see if that works. And here we go. 
So it allows us to view the content of the past WD file, which tells me that the developers are definitely non-recursively checking for this string and removing it. And I say non-recursively because if it was done recursively, that means you would have to, um, once it removes this string right over here for each instance of it, it'll go back and check if there's any more instances of this of this specific character sequence in the payload or in the user input that was given. Okay, so if we go back to the application and reload it, we should see the sign that we successfully completed the exercise. And we do. All right, so we successfully completed the exercise by exploiting the path traversal vulnerability manually. Now let's script it in Python. If you would like to see a detailed version of the video where we first exploit the vulnerability manually and then script it in Python, check out the video linked on the screen. Also make sure to hit the subscribe button and check out my course if you're interested in seeing more videos like this one. Thank you and see you in the next video.